Hi y'all, welcome to another YouTube video. This video is inspired by Madison Beer. I watched her stream and I was like, whoa, this girl is the most sexiest person I've ever seen. I was like, I'm gonna watch her stream occasionally on Twitch. So I was like, let me do a Madison Beer look and see how it goes. I enjoy watching her content. I think her content is smashing and I was like, I'm gonna do something that is more tailored to her. I started being interested in her when she started her, you know, days on Vine and she was making, you know, Vines and stuff like that. And then she gradually, you know, became an artist and started releasing music. And now she's, you know, Twitch streaming. And I didn't even know that she streamed. Actually, I followed her, which is quite interesting. I did follow her, but now she's got back into her Twitch days. And her Twitch stream was quite cool. It was kind of like a really nice bougie stream where she's playing games. So I said, I'm gonna do a makeup look inspired by her. And I'm gonna see if I can transform my little round face into her face, which is quite crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna prep my skin, obviously. I'm not gonna go into how I prep my skin because that's just unnecessary like I'm not gonna tell you what I use to prep my skin I'm just gonna go and prep my skin but um yeah Okay, so I've prepped my skin as much as I possibly could. I moisturized my face. Obviously, earlier I washed my face and everything. So my skin is prepped for, you know, today's makeup look. I bought a few things, actually, and it just came in the post today. And these are the things that I looked at the reviews on and I wanted to try them. There's some things that everyone on TikTok said that they really liked. So obviously, I'm going to try those stuff out. Because it's summer, I'm going to actually transform my face from using a foundation to use a skin tint moisturizer because it is summer and I really want to get into the habit of using skin tint moisturizers, which has been really helpful because it's like having a lighter coverage on my face and it doesn't feel heavier. I don't feel sweaty. Though I am sweaty, it doesn't smear everywhere. It just feels comfortable putting on, you know, something on my face. So I use a skin tint moisturizer instead of using a foundation to make this makeup look. I'm lucky to have a cosmetic store that I go to for anything I need. Some people don't have that, they live on a farm, sadly, but I don't live on a farm. <laughs> if I did, I would have to have my own cosmetic line because I am a cosmetic girl. I, I can't live without stuff on my face. But I have a bunch of stuff that I just got. Most of them are e.l.f. products. Actually, all of them, except for one product, is e.l.f. So all, all of these products are e.l.f. And then, obviously, I got my skin tint moisturizer, Maybelline. I had to change my previous skin tint moisturizer into this one because the previous one was one shade darker. And obviously, for me, I'm... Not, I'm actually surprised that I have been, I bought a skin tint moisturizer that was darker than me. It has happened one time, that was years ago, but it really did shock me when I found the skin tint moisturizer and it wasn't even my shade. I was like, what? <laughs> it turns out it was darker and it didn't match my anything. <laughs> like when I looked at my neck, it was like a whole different shade. I was like, oh my God. So I went into the store, returned it because what that's what you do 
when you get a product that isn't your shade you just return it like i don't even use it i just put it on my my, my hand and it was somehow darker than me because i bought it online i was like i thought it was gonna be a good shade so when i did my adriana lima i had to really use um a concealer to conceal those parts because my concealer is lighter because obviously it just didn't feel like I was doing a good makeup look but I have started off with my primer this is my new elf primer and so far it is really grippy it is so grippy like it has this kind of tacky feel so I don't use tacky primers anymore because the last tacky primer I used was actually this primer that I got from TikTok shop. And I said to I said to myself, oh, it's tacky, it's good. But I don't know, when I put on my makeup, I just didn't like how it looked and how it sat on my face. I'm then gonna go in with my um, flawless filter. Oh my gosh, I got a flawless filter. This is tan deep. I'm hoping this is a good filter though. This is actually my skin tone. If it isn't, I'm going to have to buy another one because it's actually sealed to the point where I have to actually remove the label. But, um, and I have to remove the security pr protected label as well to get to the bottle. But, yeah. And I'm probably going to have to put it in my kit, but there's no one who's darker than me in my class. But it would be kind of cool having my kit and building my kit, I guess. Like having stuff in my kit. But a skin tint moisturizer, I guess I could use that for a bridal wedding, but I don't know. <laughs> so I got this e.l.f. Um, Halo Flawless Filter because everyone on TikTok said it was like very flawless and it gives you a flawless finish. And the thing with Madison Beer is she's always got a flawless finish when she's like on camera, when she's like filming, like, you know, music videos, she has a flawless filter. So I'm going to put it on my hands to start with. I'm not going to try and attempt. Okay, it's already my shade. Thank gosh. I thought I was going to have to pull a dopey. <laughs> I was going to have to pull a dopey and go and be like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm here again. I just need to pretend this is not my shade. But it actually is my shade. Thank gosh. This is the tan deep. So they do. They are socially inclusive. So I would suggest if you are looking for a flawless filter and you're looking for a darker filter, you can go darker. The reason why I had to go this shade was because I actually did not know that I was actually quite light in the skin complexion. Like I never thought that I would be that light, uh, partly because I've never seen myself as light, but it's kind of interesting, maybe because of the weather, I'm just, I'm hardly outside, I hardly spend time on holidays, so I don't have like a really brown look. I have my like, you know, British brown, you know? So <laughs> I think I have to go out and actually enjoy the weather a bit. But yes, this is me with the flawless filter. I love how the glow is, it just has a really nice glow. I love how flawless it looks. It just it feels like I've put skin tint moisturizer or some foundation on, but I actually have not. And it kind of helps me a lot because I'm so scared of that primer. Like tacky primers, I don't know. The last primer I used, it was tacky good, but it just it just felt like it was lifting. And I don't want anything that lifts up my foundation in any way. Because the lifting up foundation creates a patchy glow, a patchy finish, you know, and you don't want a patchy finish when you go out. Okay, so I'm gonna put my skin tint moisturizer that I got. This is the Maybelline skin tint moisturizer. Sometimes you can go out with no um, skin tint. You can just have the flawless filter because sometimes the flawless filter does provide enough coverage, but I want a really good coverage. I wanna kind of cover myself a bit more. So I'm gonna use the skin tint moisturizer. This is in the shade 60. 66 was too dark, but this is actually perfect now. I actually had to go into the store, test it, only to find out that my shade was not even available. So I couldn't actually buy my shade. I had to order it online again. So when I asked them, can I have my shade, please? I wanna exchange it for my shade. They said, one, I can't exchange it. I have to return it, get my money back, and then somehow, you know, 
you know buy it online because they didn't have it in store so i was like what the hell as you can see it's so nice like i love the coverage i love the flawless feel filter how it's really just really really filtered everything out all the dark dark areas of my face it's really just filtered and it's just really created this nice finish a nice base really so yeah i think the summer has really taken over everyone's life because when i went to go and find skin tint moisturizers there was literally none there <laughs> But I'm going to go in with my favourite concealer that I've actually done a review on my blog about. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer, the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I only trust it. I don't trust anything else. I only trust this concealer. It's partly because the applicator is really big. It's very hydrating. It, it actually covers a large surface of where the areas of the darker parts of my eye. It's socially con uh, conclusive in terms of like shades. Like for me, I, I'm actually happy that the shade is actually the shade that I'm looking for, for an off-the-counter product. Most times you have to go and buy an expensive product to find a shade that's actually your shade. And it's actually very nice on the skin. It's easy to like move around and it doesn't dry as soon as it goes on the face. Like some concealers, they dry instantly. It creates this flawless finish that I actually adore and I've... I've become so in love with it. I've become in love with this concealer. I've I've actually taken it off and I've just trusted this concealer so far. I've gone through concealers. I've used the Sleek Concealer. I've used so many concealers. I've used Maybelline concealers. And this concealer has actually stole my heart. I had to literally go on the shelf, take it off the shelf just to try it out only to find out that everyone else had the same view as me like i just really like how the applicator is big enough for me to use it and just really play around with it because like often applicators are really small and small applicators break easily so i'm just happy that i'm able to really like use it you know i did have a comment from someone they said to me why do you use your fingers I use my fingers instead of a brush because um, I like the connection with my fingers to my face and I like to manipulate it using my fingers but if you are going somewhere like work and you don't want to get your clothes dirty and you don't want things to be dirty I recommend you don't use your fingers I recommend you use a brush because it's easier to kind of control in if you're not used to using your fingers all the time like I am and I remember my teacher she she told me, you know, you can use your fingers, you can use your fingers as applicators, your hands as applicators, you don't have to use a brush. Beauty blenders, when you're doing other people's makeup, isn't really hygienic. That's one of the things she told me, unless it's a powder puff, a triangle or powder puff, they are hygienic. I would recommend using a triangle um, powder puff if you want to kind of have a nice finish because they are able to kind of be cleaned and put into the washing machine because they're not thick and it doesn't you can get inside it a bit more but if you're using something like a um i don't even know like how do i describe it like if you're using like a a beauty blender those like round beauty blenders not so much though they are good at blending out like stuff like if it's your own beauty blender cool but if you're using it for customers and you want to be resourceful i don't recommend using a beauty blender for your customers so i don't use a beauty blender when i'm using it on customers i actually refrain from using them because it's just not hygienic anyway so i'm then gonna go in with my elf <laughs> i'm using elf everything i feel like this is an elf video i'm just am i promoting elf i don't know but elf has actually been doing really well my elf blush i know she's more of a reddish tone but she mostly uses like a pinkish tone but i'm gonna go with a bit of this elf blush on my you know you know cheekbones luckily the position of your cheekbones is so important to have a good finish like for some people they don't realize they don't realize that the position of your cheekbones is so important because your the position of your cheekbones is actually what gives you the lift 
it's not actually like copying what other people do so much oh my gosh my iconic blush was tampered like it was tampered with by my dog so my dog chewed the bottle and it's like everywhere so it's like all over like it's like literally leaking out the bottle i get angry with my dog because when he gets a hold of my makeup for others i just feel like why do you do this why do you hurt me i feel like he's taken one of the makeup products and he's literally chewing it up right now he's really sneaky like he's the type of dog that and she also has a bit of blush in her nose as well so i'm gonna put a bit of blush there but he's the type of dog like he will go take your product and then run off with it so <laughs> it's about making sure that he doesn't take the product and <laughs> chew it up so i like bottled products i like bottled products that can't be broken into because then he can't chew it up if it falls on the ground he can't chew it up i will find it in my bed in full state you know but if it's stuff like you know plastic packaging i don't really like them that much um Oh, Billy, be careful, baby. So, the next point is I'm going to blend out my blush. So, I've used the Iconic blush as well. I don't know what shade I've used because he's chewed up the bottle and I don't really want to take out the bottle again. Uh, let me see if I can find the Iconic blush. It looks like this, though. It's all chewed up now, but <laughs> it's in the shade... Fearless flush, fearless flush. So, recommend it. You, if you do like that shade that I've just put on, it's like the, it's like the purpley shade. So, if you really like it, I'm gonna do it. I saw this thing called the sunset um, blush technique, and everyone's doing this, like this sunset blush where they put like an orange blush on top of a purpley brush to create a sunset effect, and I kind of really like it. So I'm just going to like dab it in, dab it in, dab it in. This is a technique I just started like really researching into, like how to really control liquid um, blush. Because like liquid blush is so hard to control. It is. It's very pigmented and it is coming out very pigmented. The good thing is we have our, what's it, our thingy majiggy. What's our thingy majiggy? Our thingy majiggy. <laughs> which is our setting powder obviously so i'm gonna put my setting powder over it to kind of set the face anyway because she doesn't have a glowy skin let's remind you that she has like a very matted look so i'm gonna have to go over it with some setting powder <sighs> i use my typical setting powder that i've done a review on on my blog this setting powder is my favorite. It's the Krylon set, translucent setting powder in the shade number 10. So I put this on my blog. So if you want to find any products that I particularly fancy, use every day, you, I might as, you might as well go on my blog because that's actually the go-to. That's the plug right now. That's the plug right now, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go in with setting powder and just overlay everything, just set the whole face. I'm not even gonna go hard with the setting powder. The good thing is with the set of powder, it's so controlling, but you can control it really well. It doesn't over cake it, it's not cakey. It's just really nice on the face. Okay, I'm gonna go and con contour my face a bit and like chisel out my face. I'm gonna use my contour palette. This is a sleek contour palette. I'm just gonna go in, contour certain parts of my face. I use a, a contour palette, so the cream contour palette. I should have really used this before I set it my face, but I didn't. So it, luckily it doesn't really do much in order to ruin the look. I just got so excited. I just set it my, I set my face first. But we can set it again, you know? So I'm gonna go in with my brush, just contour my body, my well, not my body, my face. I'm so hungry, I need to eat. 
my eating habits have been terrible like i just don't feel hungry i think it's the summer the summer really makes you less hungry some people get more hungry i get less hungry during this time of year i don't know why i get super less hungry i forget to eat during the summer it's just the excitement of going out <laughs> and then realizing when i'm out and i have no money i'm like oh no i'm hungry <laughs> but yes contour chiseled nose <sighs> Someone said to me the other day, would you ever get, um, you know, um, face filler, like, like cheek filler? I said I would because I don't like how my face has like a little drop but I don't know I don't think I when I looked at the photos of people who've had like cheek filler they didn't have much of a um a difference to their like their face they didn't have much of a difference to their like the structure of their face but maybe when you you when you keep on like getting cheek fillers regularly you start to see like the changes to their face I think but I said I would. I would definitely get cheek filler because I've always wanted like a um, like a chiseled look. But I guess that's like for another day. I I don't know. I don't know if I ever still feel the way I do about my face. I probably would, but I don't know. I always say like beauty has become so like so progressive in the way it is like it's so progressive and i feel like people shouldn't really say that you know how do you know if, it, if it's not dangerous for your face because beauty is so re research it's the most research type of science out there which is so interesting like i had to really go and start doing a course in beauty and like learn about beauty to understand how research beauty was so it really made me aware okay i got comments from some people who i think i said this in my last video but it's kind of like when you use the um got to be glue um you know eyebrow glue you got to really manipulate the the glue so you got to wait for it to get tacky then manipulate the glue because it will come on wet it will come on really wet you've just got to wait for it to get tacky and then you manipulate it don't don't rush the process it just won't work if you rush the process so just really just wait for it to get tacky it's tacky now so just laminate the brow and just keep on laminating the brow and keep on doing it. Okay. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go in with the Build a Brow pen. I used last time and I'm just gonna fill it in I'm just gonna do some brush strokes I'm actually really good at this brow but this brow I'm really bad at
one brow is done <laughs> one brow is done now on to the next brow Bro, I'm so bad at this brow, but I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. It's like the balance, like, I don't even know. one brow looks ugly the other one looks okay but we can fix these we can fix these you know how we can fix these brows right oh i will go through my concealer my sleek concealer with a small wand that's actually why sleek concealers are good i think having a diversity is good because it has a small wand and i can go and i can just line my brows to create the arch that I want because it's not easy it's really not easy to draw a brow it isn't when, especially when you are one of those people who are mostly dominant on one side are you one of those people who struggle with drawing eyebrows because you're dominant on one side then you will probably benefit with this concealer having concealers with small ones because you can then like shape your brows the way you want it nine out of ten of the time when i'm like going out to places like you know work or something i have to like really uh, use this concealer to really help me shape my brows i have really bad aim if i was a boy i wouldn't i would miss the toilet every time <laughs> i would miss the toilet every time that's what i say okay so Uh, yeah, so one brow is fully needed, brow is ugly, but we can fix this. We can fix this. We're not ugly people. Oh guys, we're not uglies. We're just unusually, unusually not pretty. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in, fix it up a bit. I get comments like someone was like to me you know with my whole situation with the you know the Mona Lisa look that I just completed someone was like to me why do you always do like really abstract art I said I do abstract art because it's so fun like writing a detailed like blog about my abstract look is so fun I didn't even write about Audrey Adrena <laughs> Adrena Lima I didn't write about her because I don't know what can I say <laughs> but obviously with time my brows will get better I promise it's just I'm so bad at brows I guess I could get a brow brush and just brush it brush it and just see if I can like manipulate my brows a bit uh, if I can find it Okay, though the brows are like really not what I like them to be, but I see people who can draw really good brows on 
um, on YouTube, on Instagram, and I get really embarrassed. I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. Anyway, so I've got this new lip oil. This is the lip oil. This is the e.l.f. lip oil. So I saw this and I was like in love with it. I don't know why, but it was the color that really stood out for me. And obviously with e.l.f. they have really big ones. So I'm gonna go in at the lip oil and just go in with a little bit of a red. <laughs> and just... Go in. It doesn't... It's not as like pigmented as I thought it would be. But it works. I don't know. It just works. I might use this in my everyday. I bought this for myself. I was like, I need a lip oil that is moisturizes my lip but it gives a bit of like a glow you know so i've got this lip oil okay so i was lucky enough to get something in the post that was sent to me by this company it's called benefits it's the bad it's the bad girl bang mascara and i used it yesterday and i have to say this mascara did wonders for me i had really mascara eyelashes for the whole day i even had to remove my eye like my mascara off my eyelashes i did and i was able to like kind of touch my eyelashes without getting it everywhere see i got some there but that's my laziness that's just me being like really lazy today i can fix it i just have to go in with some concealer but because the wand's quite thin I can actually access it. I normally use th thick um, mascara wands and I have no eyelashes, that's the problem. So I need to be careful because I have no eyelash, like no eyelashes. So why am I using a, a really massive wand to access my eyelashes, you know? just go in with that and do this like I have no eyelashes so it was kind of like when I found it and I was able to talk to people who are from the company because I had to do something which I was a bit like upset because I didn't get um it was like an opportunity I didn't get but <laughs> When I, when I saw the product and I was like researching about it, I found the product. I stumbled across the product and it's actually really helpful. Like, as you can see, like there's a bit of a difference with my eyelashes. You know, they are more prominent. I have no eyelashes, so it's crazy. But I love this. This is my... I don't know. I just don't look like her, do I? <laughs> but I did try and like make myself look kind of cute it's just like a flawless look i just love how flawless it looks under the camera maybe i'm just maybe because i have no glasses on i can't i can't really see it maybe it's really patchy i don't even know but i love it i just love how glowy flawless it is i don't even use any highlighter oh <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you really like this one I did try and put a bit of my personality in here as much as possible to make this video more interesting. But thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys later. Bye!